In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called calculating partial pressure of a gas from a sketch. There's a couple of equations that you need to know in order to solve this problem. First, the equation for calculating the mole fraction. Mole fraction is given the symbol capital X in chemistry. We're going to be calculating the mole fraction of N2 and O2. So I'm just going to write the equation for the mole fraction of N2. The mole fraction of the N2 gas is calculated by taking the number of moles of the N2 gas in this mixture. Remember, little n is our symbol for moles. And dividing that number of moles of N2 by the total number of moles of all of the gases in the mixture. And so for oxygen, the other gas in this problem, we've, we can write a similar equation. The mole fraction of oxygen is going to come from the number of moles of oxygen gas divided by the total number of moles of all of the gases in a mixture. So that's a pretty yeah, simple equation to use. We're also going to be calculating the partial pressure in this problem, and that's the second equation that we need to know. The partial pressure is the pressure of an individual gas within a mixture. So the partial pressure is going to be the pressure of the N2 gas inside this whole mixture, and then also the, the partial pressure of O2 will be the pressure of the O2 gas in the mixture. The partial pressure is given this symbol right here where we use just capital P like normal for pressure and then in subscript we write the formula of the gas that we're referring to. The partial pressure of N2 is calculated by taking the mole fraction of N2 and then multiplying that by the total pressure of all of the gases in the mixture. And then we can do a similar um, similar calculation for the partial pressure of O2. The partial pressure of O2 is the mole fraction of O2 times the total pressure of all of the gases in the mixture. So let's go ahead and find all these numbers and plug them in. Um, for In terms of calculating the mole fraction, we'll do that first. We're going to be taking this information from the picture that's given to us. We know that the gases in the mixture are nitrogen gas and oxygen gas. We can tell that by the color coding here and then also just by this data table down here. And so all that we're going to do here is just count how many, how many molecules are in the picture. Um, we're going to use the molecules instead of moles. Thankfully, they haven't drawn a whole entire mole of nitrogen gas or oxygen gas. So I'm going to just kind of cross these off as I go. I'm going to begin by just counting the number of nitrogen molecules inside this picture. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So there are 19 moles or 19 molecules of nitrogen gas in this picture. And then there is an additional one oxygen gas. So that's a total of 20 moles of gas. For oxygen, one oxygen, one mole of oxygen over a total of 20 moles. Sometimes it's appropriate to leave partial pressure in a fraction format. Uh, in this particular problem, it's telling us to round our answers to two significant digits. So that means that it does want us to actually calculate this out. So the mole fraction of N2 is 0.95, and the mole fraction of O2 is 0 0.05. To two significant figures, it's going to be 0 0.050. Notice that there are no units on the mole fraction because the mole units cancel out, so it's unitless. And then also notice that after you calculate the mole fraction of everything in the mixture, they should always add up to exactly one. If they don't, that means that you've done something wrong. So we've got our mole fractions figured out. For N2, it's 0.95, and for O2, it's 0 0.050. And now we're ready to calculate the partial pressures. So we're going to take the mole fraction of N2 that we calculated, and remember, it's unitless, and then we're going to multiply that by the total pressure, which is given to us in the problem, 0 0.080 kilopascals. 0.95 times 0 0.08 kilopascals is 0 0.7, 0 0.076, 0 0.076. And just checking over with the units, they want us to be expressing this in units of kilopascals, so that works out perfect. We don't have to do any kind of conversion. And for O2, our partial pressure of O2 is 0 0.050, or excuse me, the mole fraction of O2 is 0 0.050. The total pressure, again, is 
0.080 kilopascals. And this is 0 0.004 to two significant figures. You've got to add another zero on the end there. And also notice, just like the way that mole fractions are always going to add up to one, notice that the partial pressures of all of the gases in the mixture are always going to add up to the total pressure.